Kaylin Jackson was murdered April 5th, 1998. A fisherman discovered her body beneath the Americana Bridge. Continuing our team coverage, Mike Vogel covered the murder, and he remembers this case well. Well, Don and Michelle, it's one of those cases, as a reporter, you don't forget. I was working right down the street from the Americana Bridge when I heard the call on the scanner that a body had been found. Even in those days, in 1998, murders were rare, but an unsolved rape and murder was almost unheard of. Caitlin Jackson's father called his 22-year-old daughter a lamb. She left her job at the Travelodge and was walking on the Greenbelt towards the First Baptist Church. It was Palm Sunday, 1998, a quiet, cool spring day in Boise. Back then, the Greenbelt pathway was on the south side of the river. It was here that her killer grabbed her, murdered, and raped her. Police say he dragged her body from the tunnel to the river and propped her up on the rocks. A fisherman on the Boise River saw her and called police, who quickly realized they had a murder on their hands. Although the cause of death has yet to be determined, it's obvious that foul play was involved, and we are uh, at the present time investigating this as a homicide. Today, the path is gone, overgrown with weeds and bushes. The tunnel she walked in is fenced up. Back then, her death became the focus of an intense investigation. We're, we're just trying to, to, to cover this base and, and uh, um, you know, a lot of it depends on, we might get lucky, who knows. For 15 years, it yielded no solid clues. But the memory of Kay Lynn still comes up when people talk about greenbelt attacks and cold case murders in Boise. Now, the 22-year-old story will finally have an ending. And Boise City has only six unsolved murders that occurred within the last 20 years. That means the city has a 70% success rate in solving murders. In studio, Mike Vogel, today, six on your side.